Welcome back to part two. Coming up, Patsy Kenzie and Calvin Harris. But now... <laughs> I don't know much about cricket, but I do know that this guy was pretty damn good at it and is one of the greatest sportsmen ever. Please welcome Shane Warne! <laughs> Uh, what got, have you got there? Got some tinnies. <laughs> no, I'm all right at the moment. Don't you mind having a tinny? Um, I don't feel like one at the moment. You're not secretly gay, are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you want a tinny? Let's have no. a tinny. Whatever you like. There you go, love. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Now, you're over here commentating on the ashes. Yeah, working for Sky through the whole Ashes. It's been good fun. I'm getting belted up in the commentary box a bit at the moment because the, the Poms or the English are actually doing pretty well, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's good fun. There's a bit of banter in there and um, the guys are looking after me. So, this Ashes... Because I always think, oh, England are done well because they've got into the final. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only the two, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, it's not actually how it works, but um, by the end of it, We'll know who's winning, and uh, England... I think the one thing about the Ashes at the moment is that um, it really has, does capture the imagination of all the public. I think the 2005 Ashes series here in uh, England was a, a fantastic series because of the camaraderie and the sportsmanship that was on display. Yeah, yeah. And I think even people that didn't like cricket got caught up in that series. And I think it always... The Ashes always brings out the best in people and the best in the cricketers, and um, this series is going pretty well too. I mean, with cricket, there's a lot of sitting around. I've noticed that. Yep, even sometimes on the field when we're playing. Well, I wasn't going to say that, but it's true, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do while your friends are out there batting? Did you, uh, did you do, like, a crossword or <laughs> cross-stitch? Um, <laughs> what's cross-stitch? Oh, it's a bit like knitting. OK. So you do it, you know, pass the time and stuff. OK, that wasn't high on the agenda. Um, no. <laughs> generally, the iPod's in the, in the ear and you listen to some music. Yeah. Um, and just watch your, your blokes hopefully batting. So us bowlers, we want them to bat as long as possible so we can put our feet up, chill, have the odd smoke out the back when you're not allowed to. Oh, um, because that's cricket's that. a bit like darts. You can, can be. You can <laughs> sod the diet, you can have a fag, you can eat a cake. You can have a tinny. You can have a tinny, no one gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Today is great, I want to be a cricketer. <laughs> The good old days used to be like that. Now yeah. they're, you know, elite athletes. Because you were always and... getting spotted having a fag, weren't you? And like a... A cigarette. Yeah, you mean. a cigarette. Sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah sorry. Just <laughs> clear that up. Just, uh... <laughs> I've, uh... I've been done for most things, but not that yet. No, no. There's all the time. <laughs> yeah. You drink up your titty. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Let's have a look at you in action against England in the Ashes in 2005. My personal favourite. <laughs> So much rivalry between Australians and the Brits. Why do you hate us so much? <laughs> no, we don't hate you. I think it's a, I think it's a love-hate thing where uh, we all, Australian sides always love coming to England. I think the crowds really get behind the cricket. Uh, they sing songs. Even though they used to sing like, you're blonde, you're bent, your ass is up for rent, Shane. Why? <laughs> We actually used to find the humour to it. Yeah, but, um, yeah. It is a wonderful... We're not the classiest lyricists, are we, really? <laughs> Another thing I'm fascinated by, sledging. Yeah. Have you heard about sledging? Yeah. You don't have to pretend. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you psych each other out, isn't it? I, yeah, well, sledging is actually when you try and uh, put your opponent off by saying yeah. something to him. I mean, with these sledging, do you do the old, like... It's like, yeah, mama. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fat, your blood type's ragu. <laughs> Do you do all that? <laughs> you see, you but now I can. Now I can. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're teaching me stuff, I'm teaching you stuff. Okay. That would awesome. be wicked, wouldn't it? Can you imagine if you saw Shane on the telly going, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love some of these. This is what you said. I've been waiting two years for another chance to humiliate you. And then Daryl Cullinan says, looks like you spent your eating. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> That's actually not a bad comeback, is that it? That is a good comeback. Yeah, it was I'll... still shit, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Glenn McGrath. Oi, Brandis, why are you so fat? He goes, because every time I sleep with your wife, she gives me a biscuit. <laughs> Now listen, say we married in a civil ceremony, yeah? <laughs> and you became a British citizen. Right. Would you ever play for England? Well, if you or would you play for that... Australia because you've got a wife here who will be upset. <laughs> 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 I think that if that was the situation, for instance, and I'd be able to play for England and I still wanted to play international cricket, yeah. then why not? I'd love to play for England. Oh, that's nice, see? Eh? Yeah. And the best part about that would be, yeah. is I'd be able to come home to you every night, Alan, oh. and you could tell me how I, where, where I went wrong, uh, what I did I'd wrong, hate... how the sledges went. Oh, we'd have a Barbie, I'd get you a fresh tinny. Yep. <laughs> I'd be a fine looking Sheila, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> now, every time I get a newspaper and look at the sports pages, because that's the first thing I do, I'm always looking at the back of the <laughs> <laughs> I see you advertising your hair growth. Yeah. See, now my hair's going. Can you see that? Yeah. Because that you don't look too far gone. Because there's two ways. Yeah. If you're too far gone and you it's upsetting you, then you actually go for what's called a strand by strand procedure. Oh yeah. Which is alias the rug that goes in. But what we do at Advanced Hair is really good now. You can't even tell. Yeah. Or if you're not too far gone like you are and I wasn't, then you'd have what's called laser therapy. So you sit under a laser. Yeah. That stimulates your scalp. You've got shampoo and conditioner that you wash it with. Yeah. And that helps stimulate, so it helps your own hair grow. So I've got oh. my own hair and it's growing my own hair. Yeah, yeah, So you yeah. could do that. Oh, my God. Could it come back? I'm not past me No, I, you'd have to get it checked out, but it looks like it's OK. We can oh, save you. Oh, you are good. Now, you know what I would have done to save yourself some money if you're playing cricket and your hair's going? Yeah. This. <laughs> Now look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you should have done it. That's not bad. Now, my late aunt loved cricket and she left this equipment line around here. Can you show me how to bat properly? Okay, come on. I'll show you. She loved cricket so much. Do you want a bat or are you going to bowl? No, I want a bat, love. Okay. Because <laughs> we're an item now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And I'm going to play for England. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Okay. Right, show me how do you hold a bat, Shane? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> a good stance so far, I like that. Yeah, is that good? Give us a look at your grip. <laughs> <laughs> that's the tinny talking, you. <laughs> yeah, good technique. Good very, technique, yeah. And very you, good technique. Then you, know, you find the crease. Just spread your legs a little bit. <laughs> Not too far apart. Okay. About shoulder width apart, so you feel comfortable. Yeah, I feel comfy. And then <laughs> put your back behind your toe. Yeah. That's it. You're ready to go. All oh, right. And then just try and hit it as hard as you can. All right then, love. Yeah. You want me to bowl to you? Yeah. Go and grab me balls and them to it. Okay. <laughs> just the two. No, go and bring bring the lot over. Okay, love. I'll bring the lot. Not now we should sledge each other, shouldn't we? Come on then. Okay. Yeah, come on. Try you and ready, freak Goldie me Locks? out. Yeah. What do you call me? <laughs> Golly You ready? Alright, come on then. You flaming galah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I warn in the audience, because in rehearsal, I knocked out uh, St John's ambulance woman. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. Right, this is going to be friendly. Come on, mate. Oh, not bad. Oh, that okay. is good. You can do better than that. Okay. Harder. No. <laughs> you like it hard? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Give it to me hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice and hard. Yeah. Okay, ready? A oh, shot. Woo! This well, is done. good. I'm getting good. Come on, come on, go. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Enjoy the rest of the artist. Shane Warren, everyone! Oh, thanks, Emma. Thank you.
after the break, Patsy Kenzett and Calvin Harris will be here. So I'll see you then.